How are y'all, you delicious people? I'm here today to review the, the next six episodes of Gleipnir. Uh, I had reviewed the first three, and so now I'm I'm doing a much more bigger investment on the show. And also I'm going in to just uh, kind of really have the real consensus about the show now. So, in a very cryptic-like sense, after the first three episodes... People are going to say, it's like, well, it seems like you watched a lot more episodes. Like, was there a lot more here? Was there a lot more to justify this show to anybody? I would say that ultimately, in all brutal honesty, through now 10 episodes of watching this show, like, I kind of felt that they didn't know what to do with anything in this show. Like, I felt like this show was probably just like, well, hey, let's put some interesting visuals out there that would otherwise, like, make people kind of stop and think, like, hmm, what is this show? But anything other than that, it's just like, it just kind of feels like nobody really knows what to what they're doing in this show. Uh, it kind of feels like we're kind of leaving a lot of characters into a, uh, a mystery-like thing. Uh, it seems that... It seems like reasonably we're not getting to know, like, Shunichi, which I think is kind of the main character of this show. But I think, if anything, we're getting to learn more about Claire. Which I'm ultimately just like, okay, well, is Claire the real main character in here? And Shunichi is just kind of like an afterthought, because ultimately he's just the shy guy. And we ultimately have Claire, who's the, the confident woman. Uh, to the point of almost, like, a scarce uh, uh, portion of her just kind of, like, really talking it, uh, talking things out. In all brutal honesty, we eventually have it to where there is uh, quite a bit of characters that otherwise get uh, mixed up into this story. And so otherwise, I'm probably going to have to describe any number of these characters. Because I probably won't know any of the names. Because I'm looking at it. Through animes, I'm usually pretty bad with names, but if anything, there's usually a visual, there's some kind of uh, cue of which that ultimately I could uh, kind of decipher of who these people are at some point. But anyways, we go into this show and we ultimately have it to where, like, we ultimately have a character that reasonably is like getting more it seems like most not one character but it seems like a lot of characters getting just more and more seductive with this show basically we have it to where this show grabs uh the woman by the chest kind of thing through most of this we ultimately end up having it to where like this show the more we go along it's more and more seductive or has some kind of lacing of uh, seductive things going on in it, or we have it to where there's some guys or there's some monsters that are otherwise creepy characters for the sake of being creepy. So, when going into this show, I ultimately had, uh, like, like this... These episodes kind of very much remind me of, like, a video game kind of anime. Uh, like, it was kind of like the approach to... Um, otherwise just look at this and like, yeah, this concept feels like, uh, kind of feels like a video game thing and it shouldn't be because it doesn't have that exact feel. Uh, we ultimately feel like, like I ultimately feel, felt that, uh, the story really goes into really just having a origin story of how this all happened doesn't really quite make sense, uh, as well as any number of, <laughs> any number of the kind of story, uh, just kind of, like, feels very flimsy, or it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of, like, a lot of the stuff, like, they're, they don't, pre they don't present a backstory for anyone, clearly, they don't do a clear backstory of anybody, and so, when watching this, I immediately was just like, you know what, 
I think a lot of this show is left into too much mystery, so that way ultimately you'd be otherwise shocked or surprised by certain characters, I guess. I think, so there is also some shock value points and ultimately just uh, points of which that you can be like, ooh, this is, this is interesting. Ooh, this is spicing up the story kind of thing. So it seems that eventually Shunichi and... Uh, Claire, through these episodes, are eventually going to seemingly partner up with people. It seems like they are going to uh, justifiably realize that the environment that they are eventually going to head into is much more dangerous than they would like to believe. And also, Shinichi and Claire are otherwise to basically be outmatched at some point. So we ultimately have it to where, I guess, uh, the more the merrier kind of scenario kind of rears its ugly head within these next six episodes. So, I think that's all that I wanted to say for a very cryptic-like sense, but let's go into spoilers. If anything, I'm going to pause here for just a second. I will be right back. All right, so double five time coming at the end of the day. Uh, let's go into that coveted time of spoiler time. Spoiler time, it's about that time I'm going to spoil this show so recently where we left off with these episodes and again uh we have a term just gonna have to like kind of describe certain characters and whatever along those ways because when looking at it uh yeah there's gonna be some characters that are i just don't have the names for. basically anybody but uh uh shunichi and uh, Claire, or to otherwise just be like, I don't know who everyone else is. Uh, plus, really, there are some characters that kind of just stick out visually, uh, just because they have, like, kind of absurd things going on with them. So, we have it to where ultimately, so how we left off with this story is that we end up having it to where Claire and uh, and Shunichi are ultimately inside of. Uh, we ultimately have Claire who is inside Shunichi, and we have it to where Claire's sister is ultimately walking along this road. We ultimately have it to where Shunichi is otherwise just thinking, well, is Claire going to kill her sister and so on and so forth. But it seems like within this dialogue, we really have it to where. We have it to where these characters are to eventually reminisce and to talk about old times and stuff like that. Uh, we eventually find out that it seemed that Claire ultimately had had just kind of hated uh, hated her sister because we end up having it to where Claire's sister had supposedly killed her parents and then ultimately almost tried to kill herself but it seems we end up finding out that uh none of that really and all truly happened and we ultimately have it to where uh to where eventually we have it to where They end up talking it out, and we have seemingly that we have Claire's sister who ends up going off into seemingly being a part of some group. We end up having it to where Shunichi is, uh, Shunichi and Claire are otherwise two. Uh, go along with Claire's sister and eventually we seemingly have some numbers game to go on here. We ultimately have it to where Claire's sister ends up ripping the head off of Shunichi and to ultimately reveal that it's Claire under this mask and we end up having it to where Shunichi's or to where Claire's sister is ultimately very 
uh, regretful that ultimately she had ripped the head off of Shunichi. And ultimately she's like, oh my god, is he going to die kind of thing? So we end up having it to where Claire is ultimately desperately running to uh, this alien. Because ultimately we have it to where uh, we are told that supposedly there is some alien that ultimately is trying to desperately look for these coins and everybody is supposedly looking for these coins now. We ultimately have it to where Claire's sister ends up giving her a coin to ultimately have her do something with these coins at some, uh, do something with her coin at some point. So we end up having it to where we go along with his story, and so Shinichi is seemingly a guy holding his own head in his hand, and so we end up having it to where this alien ultimately is going to give, uh, is going to give Shinichi a elixir of sorts to ultimately have it to where, uh, he can put his head back together and ultimately, um, take this potion, and then he just has a permanent scar around, uh, wherever the heck he had gotten hurt from so so ultimately we had a tour shinichi was going into a place where he was kind of outnumbered or outgunned or whatever but eventually he ended up just kind of uh skating by through that and so on and so forth so we end up having a tour ultimately the next plan is to ultimately have the alien tell shinichi and Claire, that ultimately uh, we end up finding out that every single one of these coins are basically like an an alien from another planet uh, that ultimately when coming to this planet had turned into these coins. So like imagine if E.T. ultimately came to this planet and turned into the to a form of a of a uh like a a video game coin like a super mario or something uh but this looks just like a normal like gold coin and so on and so forth like a quarter or whatever so we end up having it to where now we have the video game thing going on here where the alien is asking for these for these monsters to go, hey, yeah, like, I will give you, like, well, I can give you power if ultimately you have uh, more of these coins. And so ultimately we have it to where seemingly this guy gives them a blueprint of where it seemingly a lot of the coins had been. And so we ultimately have it to where Shunichi and and Claire are ultimately pushed off into some uh, seemingly forest environment to ultimately try to find more of these coins. So we end up having it to where Shunichi and Claire are to ultimately find seemingly another monster of sorts, and this monster had these, like, giant blades on his, on his hands, on his, like, he's basically... Uh, the equivalent of almost Edward Scissorhands in some kind of ways. But ultimately, he has, like, one gigantic scissor blade on his hand. Um, and and both... So it's like one... Like, if you took a thing of scissors and you uh, disconnected the two pieces and then just had it on both, uh, on both arms, the two, peep, uh, the two pieces separate... To where we ultimately have it to where one solid sword is on one uh, hand and and one solid sword is on the other kind of thing. So, we eventually have it to where seemingly, at first, we end up having it to where Claire ultimately just rushes into just like, well, obviously I just need to kill this guy. And we have it to where Shinichi is like, God, there's no way that we're going to be able to beat this guy. We ultimately have it to where seemingly Shunichi also has a sense uh, to be able to smell people. Like he has kind of like the Wolverine power, I guess, the power of scent, because ultimately he's technically a dog. So we end up having it to where Shunichi ends up going and 
trying to fight off this guy, but ultimately we have it toward this uh, monstrous guy. I'll, I'll call him uh, Double Blade. We end up having Double Blade, because uh, ultimately that's the way to describe him. That's not his actual name in the show. So, we have Double Blade, who ends up going and, like, just starts, like, batting uh, Shunichi like it's nothing. And so Shunichi ends up going and telling Claire to run for her life. And uh, told to me where Shunichi is going to try and fight this monster off and uh, and keep Claire safe. So we have it to where Claire ends up improvising. And so we end up having it to where Shunichi ends up kind of bear hugging and or just kind of uh, grabbing the waist of this monster as if like he like tackled him and then uh, tried to hold on with his stomach and is squeezing the life out of him. While that is going on, we have Claire coming up from behind this monster ultimately to have a gun seemingly pointed at his head. And so we have it to ultimately this monster is like, you know what? Like he's trying to figure out like what this thing was. Is like, oh, it seems like this girl, like, was the girl that was inside this monster. And, but what are there, two of them? Is there another girl inside this monster? Like, what is all this? Like, this doesn't make any sense. We eventually have Shunichi then ends up saying a word. And he's like, oh my god, there's two of them. There's two, like, so we end up having this monster trying to figure out what is all going on with Shunichi and Claire. And so to me, he's like, you know what, like... Like, I really can appreciate these people. Uh, like, it seems that ultimately... Claire is ultimately asking for a truce to ultimately have them work with one another. And Double Blade is just like, you know what, I, I don't... Like, I don't need you. Like, I don't need... I don't need to work with people. So... We seemingly end up having it to where Double Blade and... Double Blade and Shunichi end up uh, going and and changing back into their form because it seems that eventually uh, Double Blade ends up changing back into his human form because he's like, you know what? Like, I think I will surrender to these people. Like, when looking at it, I feel like I've lost anyways. But on top of that, it's just like, I think I can respect Shunichi for otherwise kind of like taking the bullet for his woman kind of thing. So we end up having it to where uh, double, double Blade ends up going into his normal form and then Shunichi ends up like breaking his back or breaking his, uh, uh, breaking some ribs or something along those lines. So we end up having it to where ultimately Double Blade is to like have a truce and just say, hey, yeah, I'll kind of work with you guys for however long and like we'll see where this kind of goes. So, we also seemingly have it to where Claire was ultimately telling Shinichi before uh, that maybe they should uh, wear masks or cover their faces. So, ultimately, uh, if Claire were to ever jump out of the Shinichi mascot thing for any reason, that ultimately her identity would be protected. Or otherwise, Shinichi, eventually, when he would turn to his normal form, uh, would have a mask so he could be protected as well. <sighs> Excuse me. So, we go along here and... We end up having it to where seemingly there is a, another monster that kind of creeps up on uh, Clarence Shunichi without them even realizing it. And so... Eventually, we have it to where this monster mentions that ultimately he had taken a photo of Claire and Shunichi and that ultimately uh, he'll know their identities forever. Even if uh, this monster ends up uh, getting attacked by these people and losing, he'll just be able to figure out who they are eventually and come after them. So ultimately, we have it to where this monster is demanding that Claire and Shunichi be his slave and stuff along those lines. And they're ultimately just like, no, that's not going to happen. 
So they end up pretty much going and, uh, like, it seems like they were going to fight out this monster. But we end up having it to where Double Blades ends up just going and just tearing through this monster. And Claire is just, like, seemingly starting to get the hots for uh, Double Blades. It's like, oh my god, you just, like, annihilated that uh, character like it was nothing. So... We eventually move on. So, seemingly... We eventually find it that seemingly Claire and Shunichi are just starting to find other like-minded people. That eventually they are, again, uh, calling truces. So, eventually we have it to where Shunichi and Claire are ending up finding this other group of people that are ultimately having special abilities. It seems like one guy ultimately is a, uh, like has a camera of sorts on his head. Uh, we eventually have it to where one character has the ability of just uh, looking like a much more attractive variation of himself, which is bizarre. Uh, we ultimately have it seemingly uh, one girl who has the ability of taking a piece of her hair and making some kind of pact with people to ultimately uh if she were to tie a thing of hair around somebody's neck any single time that ultimately she would otherwise try to betray uh this truce or whatever that ultimately we would have it to her claire ultimately is going to lose her head or uh, ultimately start to choke because ultimately Claire had really uh, come out of uh, Shunichi and really just took a liking to this girl that ultimately is wanting to uh, basically no matter what wants people to tell the truth kind of thing and be honest about things. So and ultimately, this girl had worn a hockey mask, and, like, she's barely wearing pretty much next to nothing because she's just that kind of person. So, we end up finding out that seemingly the, uh, the girl with the hair power, ultimately we find out that seemingly she is really into women. Uh, it seems that ultimately this girl had, uh, felt very attracted to, uh, I believe a teacher of hers... And ultimately, this uh, relationship was not supposed to work out because uh, student, teacher, and whatever. But ultimately, we have it to where we found out that the girl really didn't care. That ultimately is like, nah, like I just wanted to keep this relationship going. And eventually, we end up finding out that this girl evidently likes other girls and is really just kind of pressing Claire to ultimately. Uh, like take her uh, relationship with the girl uh, with the hair to even much more of a next level to where even she's like grabbing her and Clara's like, whoa, okay. Uh, how about you buy me dinner first? How about you like, like how about you ask me out kind of thing? It's like, uh, before we go any further with this relationship. Cause I think reasonably we have it to where, Claire and Shunichi's bond is so, uh, for the most point, it's so kind of like, it's close. It's so close to where reasonably we have it to where like Claire is otherwise like throwing herself at Shunichi, ultimately mentioning at some point within these episodes that ultimately uh, Claire is like telling Shunichi, it's like, well, hey, you know what, at any time, like, uh, me and you can uh, try something a little bit more interesting and, uh, like, get a real connection, if you know what I mean. Really connect with one another, if you know what I mean. And we have it to where, like, Claire is just like, you know what, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> so, we end up having it seemingly where, while Claire is going off in her adventures of talking with this girl... We end up having a tour. Shunichi ends up going off and trying to seek out uh, in his mascoted 
uh, mascoted outfit because he's not going to change in his normal form. It seems that Shunichi is going off and uh, speaking with one of the other uh, with one of the other characters. It seems like this motorcycle helmet girl ultimately seems that she is kind of these weaker abilities. Eventually, we end up finding out that this girl ultimately seemingly has some kind of pet fetish of sorts. Because uh, the only thing that ended up changing with her entire body is that she ended up getting like animal ears on her head. And that was basically it. Um, that was the only real like power that I've seen her have uh, of sorts. So we end up having it to where reasonably this girl is a little bit uh, or a little bit a lot bit slower than Shinichi. And so they're going and trying to find these coins and, and stuff like that. And so we end up having it to a reasonably that, that uh, Shunichi and this girl end up, we just have this girl who ends up just going into Shunichi and trying out like Shunichi's mascotted body. We end up having it to where this girl ends up going full on in there with nothing on. And to where ultimately, like, uh, Shunichi is just kind of freaking out because this girl is, like, got nothing. Uh, we end up having it to where ultimately uh, Shunichi ends up going and uh, kind of looking back at her clothes and stuff. And then she he's realizing that, oh my god, like... You seriously took everything off. <laughs> and she's like, well, like, I don't want my, I didn't want my clothes to get dirty uh, with being inside of you kind of thing. And so we ultimately have it to where Shunichi is just like, you know what, this is really uncomfortable. And we have it to where the girl is ultimately feeling like, every little bit of uh, thing that Shunichi is feeling, and ultimately she is noticing that, like, Shunichi is starting to get really excited. That ultimately this girl is, like, basically, uh, like, wearing nothing inside this costume. So, pushing on, we end up having it to where this girl has to have some, like, test ride of this character, and so ultimately she ends up uh, kind of stumbling and falling, and we end up having Shunichi's, like, okay... Why did this girl struggling so much? It seems like when me and Claire were together, like it felt like like breathing, like it was so easy for her, but why is it so hard for this girl? So we also have it to where the entire time uh, the cameraman is ultimately like recording everything. Recording everything and just kind of really just uh, stalking after this girl. It seems like uh, this girl... Like, he wanted her to be his, and he's just kind of disappointed that this girl is teaming up with this guy. So, justifiably, we have it to where Claire is done talking to this girl, and so they are going to start to go off to ultimately see where Shinichi and, uh, Shunichi and uh, this girl had gone. Because eventually it seems that this girl had lost her wallet at some point. And so that is the real reason why they were going off. Uh, they were going off to collect coins, but then also to try and justifiably find this girl's wallet because she had lost it somewhere. So we eventually have it to where seemingly there is a, uh, another group of like-minded uh, uh, monster people they ultimately eventually seemingly find this girl's wallet. And so reasonably we have it to where there's eventually a battle for this girl's wallet, which is the bizarrest thing anyways. So we end up having it to where eventually that uh, all this group ends up going out to try and find this girl in Shunichi. And we eventually get it to where seemingly... We end up finding out that there is more monsters than what was at first led to believe. So, we end up having it to eventually. 
there ends up being uh, quite a few monsters. We eventually have it to where seemingly there is a spider monster that ends up uh, grabbing and basically using every single one of his arms to grab any piece of uh, the girl that ends up uh, that ended up having a thing for Claire. So we end up having it to where this monster is basically grabbing every single bit of this girl. Like, even to the point of basically just grabbing onto her chest and ultimately having her, like, way up high and ultimately, uh, like, kind of just uh, ultimately saying that 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 this girl will be torn apart if... Turn, torn apart if ultimately they don't do what they say. But eventually we have it to where reasonably people are just going to attack anyways. And we have it to where Claire, Claire is ultimately just kind of very bitter about the fact that ultimately Shunichi had taken another girl in this costume and we end up having it to where Shunichi's like well like I was just kind of forced to have her in there and if anything like it just kind of felt like Claire was a little bit of a jealous and when looking at it it's like that's where like there's a whole kind of dissension in the ranks uh between Claire and Shunichi where it's just like well I guess Claire doesn't exactly need to be with Shunichi at all times. And ultimately looking at it, I guess Shunichi needs to find like a like-minded person like her. And, uh, or like this girl with the, with the motorcycle helmet for uh, a face. And we end up having it to where Claire is just kind of throwing herself at anybody uh, that breathes. So... Eventually we have it to where these monsters and uh, and everybody end up finding it out. And it seems that eventually uh, they end up getting uh, this girl with the, the uh, animal ears. They end up getting her wallet. They end up decking a lot of people. And they end up making their way out. So we end up having it to where in this journey that it seems that uh, more and more, we're eventually going to have connections and people taking sides, and I think it's going to be a really interesting story. Uh, it's just a lot of, like, it's a lot, it's a big mess. Like, we have a tour where this story is kind of just all over the place and just, like, whatever it just needs to be uh, to just kind of tell, like, hey, let's have this goofy character. Like, I think that's what this story really uh, comes down to, is it just being like, hey, we want to really have the, a goofy character that does this and so reasonably I feel what overall is what this story is about is just really just uh, a goofy approach to to this and that but if anyways yeah um I think that that's all that I really wanted to say about this review I kind of really skimmed through a lot of things and I ultimately just kind of like bashed through a lot of it but Anyways, yeah, um, that's really all I wanted to say about the, uh, the, the other six episodes of this show. Hopefully, at the end of the day, we can go into uh, the rest of this show, the rest of this first season, and just probably call it. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.